How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about how my mental health was affected after getting top surgery. Okay, so top surgery is a pretty, pretty huge thing for trans masculine individuals who want medical intervention when it comes to alleviating their gender dysphoria. So I really want to talk about this and especially because I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about post-op depression where they felt like the surgery didn't work, they didn't like the results of the surgery, or they kept having flashbacks and dreams that they were getting, the surgery like just didn't happen. So I wanted to make a specific video about my experience with my mental health after getting top surgery because I think my presentation was a little bit different from other people and if someone else who's just recently had top surgery or had top surgery in the past and is wondering about whether or not this was okay for them to feel, I want to let you know that if you had my experience it's completely fine. It's completely normal. So I personally didn't necessarily have post-op depression because of the fact that once my top surgery was done, maybe it's because I'm in the medical field, but I solidified the fact that I no longer had tatas. Like I was never going to have them again and that I was going to have these bilateral scars in the rest of my on my body for the rest of my life and I was okay with it. So I felt really good about that. Like I've never had a weird flashback or something of that sort where I felt like my top surgery didn't work. I will say in the last couple of weeks I have every now and then feel like I have boobs again but not in a dysphoric way. It's it's like um me like if if, if someone who I know still had who still has a uh, breath talks about their breaths, I feel myself relating to them in some way, but it's not necessarily a dysphoric experience. It's more like, "Hey, I've had I've had this experience before I can relate to you. So that's been really good. However, I want to really, really talk about the fact that I experienced a lot of disassociation after my top surgery. This is something different from depression in that I wasn't necessarily depressed, but I also felt very out of body a lot. And I think it's something that I want to tell you all about so that you can understand what I've gone through, but also if you can relate to me, you know that there's someone else out there who has had that experience. And I think my, disassoci my disassociation started when I first saw my chest. Actually, after my top surgery, my chest was bandaged up for about a week, so I wasn't able to see anything. But I think it's af the, after they took the bandages off is when I started disassociating a lot from my body. And it wasn't necessarily a scary experience per se, but it did feel really odd because I was like, wow, I'm in my body and I'm not really in my body and this is really weird and I've never felt that before. I remember when they took my bandages off um, and I was looking at myself in the mirror, I didn't even know what I was looking at, you know? I just felt like, wow, this is someone else. This is not me. And my my fiance was super super excited about uh, my top surgery results and was jumping up and down, and I was I looked at them and I was like, do you like it? And they were like, yeah, I like it. Do you not like it? And I was like, no no no, I do. I just can't relate myself to this new body that I have, and that was really wild. That was something I had a lot of trouble getting over for a very long time. Honestly, I would say it took me about two or three weeks to actually start reassociating myself with this new chest that I have and I don't know how to process it. I talked about it with my therapist and my therapist has helped a little bit but it's definitely something I think about a lot is of, of how much I took myself away from my body. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I ended up getting top surgery in my early 20s and a lot of trans men that I know now and trans masculine people that I know now end up getting top surgery much sooner, usually in their teen years with the parental consent. But for me, I was someone who was socialized for a very long time as, unfortunately, the gender that I don't identify with and that really affected how I perceive my body a lot. And it, it, it is a privilege for younger trans people who get surgeries, who get um, medical intervention if they want medical intervention early because they don't have that same experience that older trans folks had to deal with for a very long time of not being able to be on hormones and not being able to have those surgeries that we really want. For a long time I even thought 
because I was disassociating so much was whether or not it was worth it for me to go through the surgery because I can't feel my body like I used to. And a lot of it also has to do due to the fact that we, I lost a lot of sensation on my chest. I didn't have a lot of sensation to begin with of my chest, but after top surgery, I couldn't feel my chest. I couldn't touch, like if I touched my chest, I couldn't feel pressure. I couldn't feel anything really. I couldn't feel pain. All I felt was numbness. And I think that physical numbness manifested into a mental numbness that I felt. It took a lot of affirmation from other people, but also reaffirming myself for weeks on end after my surgery saying, I got top surgery, I'm proud of myself, I have the chest that I want, until I finally started reassociating my, my mind with my body again. And um, I started getting sensation back as well and that helped a lot too because now I can, I can feel pressure now on my chest, I can feel pain on my chest now. And honestly, I, I just wanted to share this experience with you all. Anyways, I hope this video has helped some of you who are thinking about top, getting top surgery and are worried about the post effects. I will guarantee you that you will gain your sense of self again. Post-op depression is real. Definitely look into the other YouTubers who have covered post-op depression. I might cover it in the future, even though I haven't personally experienced it myself. I can definitely talk about it in the form of medicine. But I hope this has alleviated some anxiety for some people, and I hope it has helped some people who have experienced this disassociation from the body after top surgery kind of relate to me in some way. Anyways, I love you all. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I talk about my medical advocacy, but also share a lot about my life with you, and I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.